Welcome back to Home Mister Channel. In this video, we will guide you through the quick installation, wiring, and setup tasks for the HHD60 Pro Solar Charge Controller. First, securely mount the controller on a wall using four screws, ensuring about 75 mm of clearance on the top, button, left, and right sides for the proper air circulation. Loosen the terminal screws for wiring. Then connect the battery, solar input, and load wires one by one. After completing all wiring, turn on the circuit breaker at the battery and then activate the solar input. Now you will see the main interface of the controller after start up. Use the up or down button to switch between the four main lobbed interfaces. The first interface displays solar input voltage and load power consumption. The second shows battery voltage and charging current. The third shows operating mode and device temperature. And the fourth displays the fault code and power operation codes. Press the PRG keys to enter the setting interface lob. Setting D0 is used to configure the load operating mode. In 24 edge mode, the load is continuously on. When set to zero edge, it operates in light control mode, where the load output is determined by the availability of the sufficient solar energy. Mode one edge to 23 edge represents the time light on and constant off mode. The load output is activated upon detecting photovoltaic input and remains on for the duration set, ranging from one to twenty-three hours. D zero one is for configure the charging voltage that the controller maintains after battery completes the boost charging stage. D zero two is for setting the charging voltage during the boost charging stage. D03 is for setting the load voltage protection voltage of the battery. D04 is used to calibrate the battery voltage value displayed by the controller. If the displayed value differs from multimeter reading at the battery port, you can calibrate it with this program. D05 configures the powerlet communication code, defining the communication address of the controller in powerlet operation. The defined code value starts from the millimeter for the main controller. If the main controller with code one fails, the function will cascade to the next valid operating controller. D06 is for the setting battery type, with the options including cell lead side batteries, GEL cell lead side batteries, fluid lead side batteries, four string lithium iron phosphate batteries, eight string lithium iron phosphate batteries, fifteen string lithium iron phosphate batteries. Sixteen string lithium ion phosphate batteries, and the custom options. Choosing USE allows menu setting for D zero one, D zero two, and D zero three. After selecting the USE, the D zero seven setting program will be displayed for configuring the system voltage. Once you have completed the settings, press the ESC button to exit and return to the main page. That concludes the complete operation process. If you have any questions about HHD60 Pro controller, feel free to let us know.